Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session on Android Framework Components. Today we will see what is this Chrome Custom tab in Android. So let's get started. Before uh, moving on to understand what is Chrome Custom tab, let us see what is Web View in Android. So uh, Android system web view will let all the Android application to display browser windows in application instead of transporting the user to another uh, browser. So imagine I have an application where I'm oh, trying to open some URL and instead of trying to launch to another browser, what web view does is it is an inbuilt Android inbuilt uh, web view that is inbuilt browser provided by Android system. So web view objects allow you to display web content as part of your activity layout. You need not create a new browser or you need not create a new activity or a layout. As part of your activity layout, uh, web view will be displayed, but it will lack some of the features of a fully developed browsers. Web view is a view that displays web pages inside the application. It is used to turn app into web application. So it will not launch a new browser inside your own application which you have written. As part of that application itself, this web view uh, web pages will be uh, displayed. So I hope uh, this is clear. Let's move on to what is Chrome custom tab. Custom tab is a browser feature introduced by Chrome. It's now supported by major uh, browsers okay, in Android. So uh, custom tabs allows an application to customize how the browser looks and feels. So if you want uh, your browser to have a different look and feel, uh, which is different from the normal browser, that time uh, you can use Chrome custom tab. So Chrome custom tab will give applications more control over their web experience and make transition between native and web content more seamless without having to depend or start on a uh, web view. So here what what is happening whenever we have an application which, which where we are trying to launch a particular URL if we are using Chrome custom tab then we are not using the built-in web view we are not depending on built-in web view we are launching our own browser and we have the capability to customize the capacities of that browser customize means uh, in the sense like uh, you can decide about the launch height you can decide about the toolbar color how many toolbars should be opened and any enter and exit animations whenever you enter any web browser any animations you want to display or when you exit from that web browser any animations you want to display how the bottom toolbar should look like the overall color the look and feel everything you can decide with the help of Chrome custom tab it will give a very uh, good web experience see web view what happens it's plain uh, web browser page it is a default web browser page it will not have that much customization animations or color effect or a good UI effect web view will not have it's like just loading information in your uh, Android application whereas if we start using Chrome custom tab uh, we can have a very good um, web experience we can provide a very good web experience to the user so the data between their application and this web application is transferred seamlessly and it is having full control over the data security. So uh, I hope uh, you all have a better idea now the difference between the web view as well as the Chrome custom tab. Let's see what are the reasons to go with Chrome custom tab. Why should I select or why should I use Chrome custom tab if I am an application developer? So uh, app developers uh, face a choice when a user clicks on a URL. So the, this URL can be launched either via browser or via a web view. Both options have challenges here. Launching via browser is very, very heavy operation. And uh, web view, what happens, it doesn't uh, uh, share the state with the browser. It does not have a good uh, uh, UI 
and it have browser overhead okay that is the problem with web view but uh, with this chrome we have multiple challenges launching the exact browser from our application so in that case what we have to use we have to use chrome custom tab which makes transaction between the native and the web content more seamless so if my app is written in a native language so native and the web content the transaction will be more seamless it gives more control over the web experience and it also provides a way for an application to customize and interact with a chrome activity in android so you can customize you can interact with chrome activity in android so uh, this is the major reason for using chrome custom tab there are other reasons why should we go with chrome custom tabs so uh, let's see those reasons too uh the first reason it's very simple to implement you need not build code to manage request permission grants or cookie stores so always whenever we try to implement a new feature the first thing we see is is it simple to implement or get started with so this is the first point it's very simple to implement next it has navigation awareness so the browser delivers a call back to the application upon an external navigation so if i have an application a from this application a i'm trying to call this chrome custom tab a deli a call back is sent from the chrome custom tab to the application so the navigation awareness is done ui customization as i already told you can select the top bar you can select the bottom bars the color the animations how many tabs to be launched all those things security security is another major feature why we can choose chrome custom tab over our web view or the normal chrome browsers so the browser uses google's safe browsing to protect the user and device from dangerous sites so google has this safe browsing uh, feature and this uh, chrome custom tab in turn will make use of this safe browsing feature it it in turn protects the uh, user and the device from dangerous sites it quickly return to the app with a single tap right from my app if i am launching the chrome custom tab with a single tap i can return back from my chrome custom tab to my application it's easy uh life cycle management is easy the browser prevents the application from being evicted by the system while top of it by raising its importance to the foreground level we all know from android uh, 8 and onwards only the foreground applications will have the capability to run if i am having any background applications going like the network operations or some long running operations going in background those are not actually handled correctly so uh, life cycle management means uh, like always the app uh, always this browser will be uh, staying on the foreground level so that uh, it's interacting with the user and there are no chances it's getting killed when there is less memory there is obviously performance optimization when compared to web view so when compared to web view it has a lot of speed up it's, it speeds up the page load time you all can compare web view it takes long time chrome also takes long time but uh, this chrome custom tab it will help in speeding up the page load time so users will not be uh, frustrated and pre warming of the browser in the background while avoiding stealing resources from the application it does not steal resources from the application it will not have the details or the data or the secure information uh, which you are using in your application uh, you want to use the latest browser implementations uh, on devices pre lollipop instead of uh, older web views then this is the important or this is one of the recommended choice you have to consider so these were the things i wanted to uh, tell and uh, quickly we'll see uh, the difference between again chrome custom tab and web view chrome custom tab if your app directs people to urls outside your domain better you use chrome custom tab okay so out of your domain if you are trying to access some external urls better you have to use chrome custom tab when to use web view it's a good solution if you are hosting your own content inside your application right so when i click on 
and i am writing my own content inside my app that time uh, web view is the best to be used uh, chrome custom tab data is secured it's using google secure policies and in web view we get to know user stored information be it your username password or any other information you feed in your web view all that will be stored the history will be stored whereas in chrome custom tab that will not be stored and chrome custom tab it's a different process in the android os it's a different process it has a different sandbox altogether but in web view it will have information about all the apps stored on the device so if you are using web view the information the data stored in your apps are accessible by this web view whereas uh, this chrome custom tab it's totally an entire different process running in android os so uh, with that will come to today's uh, uh, with that will come to end of today's uh, session will android system implement web view or chrome browser by default as i already told android operating system by default it will make use of web view uh thanks everyone for watching in this uh, session i just wanted to give you all a brief understanding about the difference between the web view and its importance the chrome custom tab and its importance so i hope it was a uh, clear and you all understood and it was informative i'll see you all soon in my next session until then everyone take care bye bye